Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's astrological forecast for July 24th, 2023 is the waxing crescent moody moon in relationship focused Libra sextile, that's a 60 degree angle, messenger Mercury in dynamic Leo. It's a good day for marketing. Communication today is highly favored. Today's Elder Futhark Daily Rune for July 24th, 2023 is Ingwaz. Ingwaz, the letter I-G, the meaning Ing, the earth god, fertility, gestation, internal growth, new life. Today, your focus is likely on that of others. You could be craving the stability that working as part of a team can bring. You don't have to do everything yourself. Trust others to help you. Today's Daily Romance Angel Oracle card for July 24th, 2023 is This Could Be The One. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. This card signals that you've already met the person you romantically seek. Perhaps you're already in a relationship with him, her, or them. The romance angels sent you this card because it seems you're not recognizing or enjoying the full potential of this person and relationship. Sometimes you may overlook someone who's meant for you because you have a different idea of what your partner should look or act like. Take a moment to consider who this might be. The first person that comes to mind is probably the one. Next, invite the romance angels into your dreams as you're going to bed. Ask them to give you very clear information about your romantic partner, either in your present relationship or a future one. During sleep, you're open to more angelic guidance. When you awaken, you may not remember your dreams, but you will have a clearer sense of romance and partnership. Take any action you feel called to based upon your inner guidance, even if it seems unrelated to your love life. Trust that the angels are leading you towards the one you desire. Today's Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for July 24th, 2023 is Lighting the Way. The key word here is illumination. We all wish for guidance and help along the way, yet sometimes guidance comes from within. When we connect to the energy of spirit that resides within each of us, we can see clearly what we are to do. Reach for those stars. Allow the communication with spirit to connect you with your highest good. Connecting with spirit is as easy as recognizing that you are already one with the universal power. You hold the light for others. You can help them climb the path of illumination. In order to continue your own journey in learning and refining your own truth. For it is only through example that we can change our world one person at a time. But if enough people hold the light in enough places, we can bring about change at a much more advanced rate. This angel fairy is holding the lantern for all to see. For anyone who wishes to climb the path can be better situated with the footholds and avoid the pitfalls. This angel fairy has reached the highest peak. Her face shows that she has taken her job seriously. Guidance can come in many forms. A word from a friend or a loved one or a professional counselor. Guidance can come from a book or a stranger's words. Listen to what information comes your way and then sit with it and meditate on it. You will get a sense as to whether it is valid for you or not. If you are open and willing to hear your truth, it may be your destination to help counsel others. The chant for today is 
each step of my journey is illuminated and sure. I move with trust and confidence. I welcome the chance to light the way for others. I hold the light high. So be it. Repeat that three times every day if you wish to bring this energy into your life. And while you're at it, light a candle for someone else today. Today's Daily Starseed Oracle card for July 24th, 2023 is Baby Steps. Baby Steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. You're being called to take grounded action in response to your soul's calling, to start where you are and begin building in a consistent way. So many people stop themselves from living a soul-led life because they're waiting to know the destination before taking the first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. Our soul is always calling us, every moment of every day. The way to find yourself living in harmony with the cosmos is to listen to your soul's baby calls and whispers each and every day and to take grounded action in the direction of those calls and whispers. You're being encouraged to start small, bite-sized, to put one foot in front of the other, to do one thing every day, to break things down into achievable tasks. Time on Earth goes slower than on other planets. This may cause frustration for starseeds. Who can expect a faster pace of manifestation and thus give up before the seeds begin to sprout? If you resonate with that, it's time to opt for consistency over urgency. Time to take baby steps in the direction of your calling. To remember that you don't need to have it all figured out or know exactly where the path is leading you. You don't have to know every single step along the way before you set out on your great journey. You just need to take the next step. Your star seed soul inquiry. What's one simple baby step you can take in the direction of your soul's calling? Today's Daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for July 24th, 2023 is Shamanic Journey. Card 23, Shamanic Journey, Purpose, Attunement, Vision Quest. This radiant shamanic priestess rides the wind horse before the full moon, heralding a sacred time for you, one that can lead you into great personal healing and radical transformation. A literal or metaphysical journey awaits you. Unearthing such profound wisdom, your life may never be the same. If you wonder what your true purpose is, now is the time to open up and receive. The white feathers of the priestess's headdress are a symbol of spirit, a message about freedom from the mundane world. The pursuit of spiritual matters may be where your greater purpose lies. And the expression of your spirit's value and power may come in the form of shamanic practices like healing, ceremony, and psychic vision. Let yourself look first to this side of you, for it could reveal the core purpose from which all other intentions and activities grow. The antler in the priestess's left hand is a symbol of higher connection. Since a young deer regularly sheds its antlers, the message here is for you to take some time to learn what old perceptions need to be shed for your own growth and higher purpose. Attune to the voice of your higher self and don't be afraid to let go. For the promise of new opportunities and expanded perception is clear. These new approaches will illuminate your passion, passage, and vision quest. You deserve to devote yourself to your soul's evolution. Meditate on your purpose and envision the inner and outer journeys 
that will bring you greater attunement. Once you prioritize this process, your purpose will be fulfilled in magical and even miraculous ways. Your affirmation, I am attuned to the shaman within. I devote myself to my own soul's journey and I am blessed. Your daily energy reading for July 24th, 2023 is the astrology is telling you to communicate with others what your ideas are. Ingwaz says teamwork makes the dream work. The romance oracle wants you to know you are already interacting with the one you seek. The fairies ask you to be a guide for others. Light the path for those who are learning lessons you already have. The starseed oracle reminds you, you don't need to accomplish everything all at once. Incremental progress is what you should focus on. The Priestess of Light Oracle reminds you that you have the ability to use your intuition at a heightened level. So if you're getting any kind of intuitive insights today, you should thoroughly look into those. You should see how they fit in to the bigger picture of anything you might have already been working on, communicating with, especially if it's with a group. Sometimes we're gonna get insights and those need to be shared with people. And we might not know why, or like, why do I need to tell this person? Aren't they just gonna think I'm crazy? Ignore that. Just tell them whatever your insights are. You don't know what they might be struggling with or working on uh, that you can't see because unlikely, especially if you're used to working with it within a team, that you know absolutely everything that everyone is going on all at the same time, right? It's not, it doesn't work that way. You don't need to have everything figured out to be able to answer all the questions that might be going on all on your own. You might have an insight that you give to someone that frees up some kind of information for them. Maybe it's something they were waiting for and they didn't think to ask you, right? Sometimes it's just the way that that works. So if you've got a feeling like you need to go talk to somebody that you're already working with on a, on a subject matter, especially if you feel like you're on a team with this person, just go talk to them. It might help make the incremental progress happen. 